guys, Scott here with Bigger Acres. Uh, we are on our way to another removal. Again, this one's not, just like last time, not too far away um, here in Buckeye, Arizona. So uh, the removal that we're headed to is a, uh, a trunk slash wooden box container, whatever, um, from what the client's describing. Um, they've made their way in there. Should be fairly simple. Uh, we'll see. The, the problem I foresee is items being in that box and the bees building comb around the items. Um, so it's gonna be kind of a challenge to get the comb out of there. Um, plus it's gonna be a real challenge to find the queen if she's lost in all the items. But uh, we're gonna do the best we can. Just like last removal, like I said, it's, it's kind of late in the season. Here it is uh, mid-November right now. I think it's, today's the 15th, yep. Um, so it's kind of late in the season for removals. Um, it's gonna be hard for them to have time to build up before winter. So my job as beekeeper to make sure that they do. So I'm gonna give them as many resources as I can afford to give them, uh, feed them up uh, with thick sugar syrup and maybe give them a frame or two of brood, uh, depending on how much comb I can salvage from today. Riding shotgun with me is the wife. Hi. She's, uh, I don't know, she's overly excited, but we're happy to have her here. Uh, this is her first time going with me to an actual removal. We've gone to some warm calls together, but um, she's never gone to an actual removal with me. And um, she's with me today, thanks to my mom. Thanks, mom, uh, for watching our daughter. Um, some people go on dates to movies, and uh, we go on dates to beer movies. But, um, so, anyway, we're gonna head that way and uh, we'll see you when we get there. I don't know, what do you think? Should we do a driving montage? Yeah, let's do a driving montage. See you guys when I get there. Alright guys, here we are at the job site. Um, so this is the container. It's a, like a wooden trunk kind of thing. Um, but from what I can see so far, looks like, I don't know if you guys can see that, looks like a decent sized colony in there. Uh, looks like they comb right up against the entrance. So my plan of attack is to take the hinges off, or at least detach the hinges, and then uh, lift up the whole top and try and flip it over without breaking the comb. We'll see how new this comb is, to see how soft it's gonna be, uh, and see what kind of issues we find along the way. But uh, let me get started, and I'll set up, and I'll see you guys in about a second. Up 
What? Objects in the colony. So, try and balance it for me. So I will start vacuuming and uh, taking comb, looking for the queen. See this on there? Hopefully you guys can see it. But we found the queen. I'm not gonna lie, there's a ton of bees in there, so it's kind of surprised to see the queen. Um, but we got her, so that's amazing. We got her. Well done. Um, as you can see, I still got the bee back out here. With the amount of bees there were and how many are still flying around, um, I told the client that I'm gonna have to just uh, leave the colony here and come back at night, wait for them to all go back in, so that way she doesn't end up with a ball of a couple hundred bees hanging out somewhere. Um, but yeah, we've got it all taken care of. You can see they're already starting to orient um, on the hive. I've got a few frames of brood in there <coughs> um, to kind of attract them to it. Plus, I've got the caged queen in there. Um, so hopefully by tonight, they will all be back in the hive and I'll be able to bring it back to my place. Um, this is a very, very large colony. It looks like they were kind of recently building a lot of comb. Uh, a lot of the comb was pretty soft and unusable. 
So uh, that bucket of comb will just go out to my yard somewhere away from anything and I'll let my bees just rob it out. Um, so success, we're gonna come over here. This is what they originally were in. I put it over here so that way they don't keep coming back to it. Plus I split, sprayed some uh, honeybee gone in there to kind of keep bees away from it and, uh, because of the smell that, that is created by a colony. So I just got that honeybee gone in there to keep them away from it. Um, so. so this one was, uh, hopefully you guys saw it. I haven't checked the video yet. Uh, hopefully you guys saw how large this colony was. Um, I actually had to pry it open, I had to pry that lid open just because of the weight uh, of the honeycomb, plus it was attached to the side. Uh, so I ended up squashing quite a few bees in the process, unfortunately. Uh, that's just the nature of the bees, can't really help that. But um, looks like a real healthy colony, strong laying queen from what I can see from the brood pattern. So uh, I'll be excited to see them get back on their feet after I get them back home. Um, as always, guys, I, I ask that you please like, share, subscribe. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you think about this removal. You know, let me know if you're impressed or if you think I should have done something differently. Whatever your comment may be, just throw me a comment down below. Um, and I always appreciate your support. Happy beekeeping, guys.